Hi, this is Adam. So today I want to show you how to play the G scale on the viola. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that the viola is very similar to the violin or the fiddle, except that it's tuned uh, a fifth lower, which means it has a C string uh, at the bottom instead of the G. So that means uh, your lowest note on the viola is C and a fifth up from C is G. Now, typically, if you're going to play the G major scale, you would start on the lowest string, but because we're playing a viola here, we're going to start uh, the G scale uh, on the uh, fourth finger on the uh, C scale, C string, sorry. Uh, so, uh, here we go. G. Let's do a second octave. Uh, so G, E, A, sorry, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, sharp, G. And then back down. have a beautiful tone. Um, uh, yeah, so you probably noticed that my hand went from down here to up here for the second half of the scale, right? That's called shifting into third position. And I've done a lot of videos in the viol violin section about shifting, but I just want to go over in a little bit more detail today how to shift into third position on the viola. So it's the same procedure as on the violin. You uh, go up to the second finger on the um, second highest string. Uh, in this case, it's the D string um, and not the A. On the violin, it would be the A string because that's the second highest string on the violin. But on the viola, the second highest string is the D string. So you go up to the uh, F or the F sharp, depending on the notes of the scale. You play that note with your second finger, and then you slide your whole hand up so that your first finger would be on the G. Uh, and for, uh, mandolin players or mandola players know this to be the fifth fret. Uh, anyway, so uh, that now becomes the um, uh, what's called the root position for the third position. So let me show that to you again. So you, you go uh, open one, two, slide your hand up to the G first, but you're going to play it with your first finger instead of your third, and then play the rest of the scale in third position. All right, so let me go through that whole sequence for you uh, slowly so you can see how it's done. G, E, uh, A, A, slide your hand up to the G. So now I have my first finger uh, on the G note in third position on the D string. G, E, F sharp. back to the one or the first finger and I'm going to slide my whole hand down to the F sharp and play it with my second finger. Let me show that to you again. So G. Now 
just a little pointer for practicing the shift. I do recommend that you practice the shift a few times before you attempt to play the scale. So start with your second finger on the F sharp. Stop your bow, slide your hand into position, and get ready to play the first finger on the G note. Okay, do, do that again. F sharp. Stop, slide, G. And then uh, pr practice that a few times, and then practice going the opposite direction. Uh, G, stop, F sharp. G, stop, F sharp. So that's going to help you um, play that shift without making a lot of noise or squeaking or whatever. All right, well, uh, if you have any questions, I'm always around. You can contact me through uh, my website. The information is below this video, and I hope you have a great day.